All right. Ever use one of these? Well, if you have and you know what you're doing, this video isn't for you. But, if you're wondering what the hell is that, looks like an antifreeze tester. Well, you're right, it does look like one, but it's not. This is a battery, battery tester slash hydrometer. And, of course, you can't really see the best, but it gives you your good fare and recharge at the bottom here. And it goes from 1.1 up to 1.3. With batteries, that's the full range for the most part. Um, I suggest not getting one of these. I bought this one in a pinch because I stepped on my last two regular style. There's one of them there. Or what's left of it. I plan on uh, fixing it once I find a tube for it. But in the meantime, I bought another one. Now, as you see, it uh, makes it fairly easy. You, you have clear, or red, white, which is fair, and then green, of course, which is good. Um, with this one, the good starts right around 1260, which is actually, what is it, 1.265, but uh, that's perfect because that's, or 2.6, but that's perfect because that's what these batteries are at full. Now, to test your batteries, first make sure you're wearing eye protection and gloves. Don't do what I do. Do what I say. Wear gloves, wear eye protection. Because this is dangerous, it's a sulfuric acid. And also make sure to wear clothes you don't care about because otherwise you'll start looking like this. Anyways, assuming you've taken your safety procedures into account, you stick your hydrometer into your battery cell. I usually start with a center cell just to get a roundabout reading for the whole battery. And these are 6 volt batteries. They've been charging for a few days. And boom, we're at one. Of course, these things do not like to go the way I want them to. But 1.25 is where that cell is, so that's not quite up there. So you just want to squeeze your water right back out. If you can't get it all, just pull it up and give it another squirt. But again, just stick it down inside your cell. Compress your ball, suck it up all the way, so it's floating well. You may want to give it a tap to knock off any bubbles. This one too is reading at about 1250, so these batteries are coming along. They're going to need a little bit more because their specific gravity from the factory is roughly or, well, there's factory spec specific gravity is 12 point or 1.265. So that's what we're shooting for. So far, none of them have gotten there. This one is just barely at 12.5, so we know that this battery at least needs to go for a few more days. Most likely, so does this one. Just check the cell. And roughly the same. Around 12.5. I mean 1.25, but let's I keep saying 12. And it's very easy, see, you just plunk, bring your level up, see where your meter is, see where your gauge is. I'd give you better readings, but my camera doesn't do close up. Besides, it doesn't really need to be that close. You just need to know. It's pretty obvious. If it's in the red, it needs to recharge. If it's in the white, it still needs recharging. If it's in the green, it's probably good. Um, if you're doing bigger batteries like these ones, it really helps to know your specific gravity, or your destination specific gravity anyways, so that you don't uh, sit there overcharging them, trying to charge them to a point they can't get to, or that you don't charge them enough and think you're done charging when there's only uh, like a 50% charge in there. Now, a lot of people will probably already know how to do this, but I'm just hoping I can help out a few people that have wondered what people are doing when they're doing this. That's what they're doing. They're testing their specific gravity, and that's how they test it. 
Now the easiest way to get your specific gravity up is find yourself a charger and charge it up. And there's many different charging methods and techniques. That's a whole other story. But like I said, if you're getting into this or need to do this, I'd avoid these. They do work, but they're not as accurate. And I just don't trust it as much. This one, it's simple technology. If you've ever made beer or wine or alcohol of any kind, that tube inside may look familiar. Something like this one over here, which actually is for that exact specific purpose. This tube here has potential alcohol by volume and specific gravity. But the specific gravity on this only goes up to 1.16 from 0.99, which is actually too low to gauge anything on the batteries. And other than that, it's just alcohol measurements. So that's not really going to work. And they come in a different tube, and they're even bigger. But that's just a little plastic tube. You pour your beer in that and get your alcohol level. But I'm not worried about that. There's another piece of uh, the other hydrometer I stepped on. I have pieces for them. I'm going to rebuild them once I find a good source for a plastic tube. But yeah, just a quick little video showing a quick way to test your specific gravity and hopefully give you a little clarity as to what it is and how to test it because a lot of people have no clue. So I uh, hope this helped you.